Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to install VirtualBox in Ubuntu 18 and we'll also install Ubuntu 20 OS image on the VirtualBox. So let's first open a browser and type in install VirtualBox. So I'll open this virtualbox.org link. So it shows me different platforms because I am running Ubuntu 18. So I'll select Linux distributions and then Ubuntu 18. So from here it allows me to save this DB file and I'll save it in the downloads folder. So the download has completed. Let's open a terminal and go to the downloads folder. Now I'll use the sudo dpkg -i and then the file name command to install from this db file so it has started the installation let's wait for the installation to finish so now it has installed virtualbox let's run it using the virtualbox command so you can see it opened this oracle vm virtualbox manager let's create a new vm using this new button I'll name it Ubuntu 20 VM and the type will be Linux version is Ubuntu 64 bit. Let's press next. Now I'll set the RAM size to be 4 GB and click on next. So here it is asking about the hard disk. So we need a virtual hard disk to run with the virtual machine because I do not have any existing virtual hard disk. I'll create a new uh, virtual hard disk. Let's click on create. I'll keep the hard disk type as virtual box disk image and then there are two types of hard disk one is dynamically allocated and another is fixed size so what does it mean by dynamically allocated it means that the initial virtual hard disk size would be smaller than 10 GB and as and when we store more uh, data into this virtual hard drive its size will increase so I'll keep it as dynamically allocated and click on next I'll set the size as 10 GB only and click on create so this has created a new virtual machine with uh, 4 GB as the RAM memory and other properties which we can see here uh, now we need to install the Ubuntu operating system on this virtual machine so before that let's download the Ubuntu ISO image so that we can install it in this virtual machine so I'll open the browser and type in download Ubuntu 20 ISO. So you can download this Ubuntu 20 ISO using this releases.ubuntu.com link. Let's open this. So there are two types of image. One is desktop and another is server. Let's install the desktop image. And here it will allow us to save this file because it's a large 3GB file. I have already downloaded it. So I'll click on cancel but you can click on ok to save this file. So let's now open the virtual box and because I want to run uh, this virtual machine using that ISO file, I'll click on settings. Then I'll go to storage and here it is showing that optical drive is empty. I'll click on this uh, small icon and then choose a disk file. Here I'll choose the image ISO file and click on open and then select ok. So now here we can see that it has this ISO image file in the optical drive and now we can start the VM. So this will uh, boot up the virtual machine using this ISO file. It will take some time so let's wait for it to complete. Alright, so once it boots up we can install Ubuntu just like uh, we install Ubuntu in a normal physical machine. So let's click on install Ubuntu. And I'll click on continue. Let me try to increase the size a bit. View virtual screen scale to 150%. Alright. Okay. So I'll just keep it normal installation. And click on continue. So it says that it will erase the disk and install Ubuntu. So we can just select install now and press this continue button 
so here we can select the region so i'll choose this india and click on continue now we can configure uh, the username and password for our ubuntu operating system i'll just add the name as sorov and here i'll write ubuntu vm then username i'll just keep it as sorov and i'll also add a password okay and then i can continue so this will start the installation and it might take a long time so let's wait for it to finish so now the installation has completed let's click on restart now so the virtual machine has restarted i'll select my username and enter the password i'll just skip all of these as of now and click on next and next and then done so this starts our ubuntu operating system in the virtual machine the first thing that we'll do is uh reset the resolution so i'll scale it back to 100 percent and change the display settings to match the resolution of virtual machine uh to be the same as the host machine which is 1920 times 1200 and apply these changes so we can go to full screen using Control plus F. So I'll switch to the full screen mode. So this is the Ubuntu virtual machine. And as you can see, it is just like running Ubuntu on a physical machine. Let's open the terminal. So we can open the terminal using Control plus Alt plus T. Uh, let's increase the font size a bit. So we can run various ubuntu commands and we can use exit to exit the terminal so that's it for this video thanks and have a nice day